Hi guys, how are you today? Hello, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon to you too. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you too, Shireen. How are you? Thank you. Very good. Fine. Okay, good. How have you been? Me too. I'm yeah. good. I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. I learned how have you been from a series um, Desperate Housewives. Yeah, Desperate Housewives. <laughs> yes, very good. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. So, how have you been? Mm -hmm. How have you been? Yes. So what is the difference between how have you been and how are you? I don't know, but I think it's more friendly and more generous. How are you? I think it, it's um, about uh, present time now, but how have you been, for example, means how um, how um, uh, what, um, mm -hmm. did you have a good time, for example, during the couple of um, past days or not? Very good. Your explanation was very much close to what it actually means. It's not exactly that, but you're 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 great to think that. See, how are you? Is just how are you? There, there. None of them are friendlier or more formal or anything. Just that. You know, we use present perfect. One of the applications of present perfect is to talk about things that started at some point in the past and continue yeah. uh, to the present time. So when you ask someone, how have you been? You actually mean, um, how have you been since the last time I saw you? Since yes. the last time I saw you, what happened to you? How have you felt? Mm -hmm. Okay, not just nowadays, not just now. Since the last time I saw you or since the last time I asked you, how are you? Or since the last time I talked to you, to you on the phone. So, okay. Thank you very much. You can ask, of course, how have you been? Because Shirin mm, talked to me yesterday. So she might yes. mean, how have you been since yesterday? That's good. Great. Okay. Thank you very much. And can you see the screen? Yes. yes. Okay. So the review. Yeah, the review. Um, <laughs> sleep, sleep away camp was the mm -hmm. first. Um... Mm -hmm. Hello. Oh, you got unmuted. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hello. Hello, excuse me, I have a call. Oh, okay, okay. Just take the yes, call. Excuse me. No, 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 I rejected and uh -huh. it was not, um, it was not emergent actually. <laughs> That's okay. So... Yes, yes. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. 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 We had um, sleep away camp, mm -hmm. annual, which means yearly. Yes. Whole as a verb which means to pull someone with force to do something. Howl. The pronunciation uh, is howl. It's not howl. Owl, howl. Yeah. Yes, howl. Yes, the yes, pronunciation yes, is like howl, H-O-W-L. That's the sound that a dog or wolf makes. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. But the meaning and dictation are different. Pronunciation is the same. Okay, go on. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, we had duffel bag. Yes. Unfortunately, yesterday we didn't remember. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. That was the day yeah. before yesterday, not yesterday. The day before yesterday, yes. Mm -hmm. Duffel bag amid means in the middle of something. Commotion. Okay, wait, wait. Uh, the noise. Wait, so it's not amid. Okay, it's a schwa. So you make your your amid. lips as if you want to say ah. As if you yeah. want to say ah, but you don't move your mouth and you do, you say a. Eh, okay, it's not a. Ah, yeah. It's not a. It's a. Uh, amid. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Amid means okay. in the middle of something. Yeah. Commotion, the noise that crowds make. Mm -hmm. Long howl flight mm -hmm. was yeah, and uh, you you mentioned that we don't say change the flight. We say connecting flight. Mm -hmm. For example, you say, I have uh, I... a connecting flight. You're, you, yes. you want to go to, you're in Tehran now. You want to go to, to Berlin, okay? 
there there are no yes. straight flights from Tehran to Berlin. So you go to maybe Dubai first, and then you have a connecting flight which connects connecting you flight, and takes yeah. you to Berlin. Yeah. Okay, go on. Yeah. Then we had um, a diamond in the rough. Yes. And you asked me diamond. a question about diamond in the rough, whether it's yes, used yes. for things. Well, I have searched, and in some mm, not highly recommended dictionaries, they say that yes. it can be used for things, not just people. But I haven't yes, found an example you. of diamond in the rough for things, unfortunately, just people. So yes. I only recommend yeah. using it for people, not for things, because for people, I have yeah. no evidence for it. Okay, go Yeah, on. thank you. Then we had a uh, streaked, which means uh, covered. Mm -hmm. For example, my uh, her face was streaked with tears or sunscreen. Yes. How do and you spell it, that stream? Um, How do you spell that stream? Spe uh, S T R E A K E D. Yes, yes, very good. Uh huh, go on. Strict. Yes, that is the past form of it, yes. Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Can you? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hello? 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 I can hear you now. I can hear you. I can hear you. Yes, okay, go on. Yeah, to be streaked with something is the, um, actually, uh, the structure. Mm -hmm. Very good. And we, uh, another structure is to keep a streak or to lose a streak. Yes. We had scrum, which means uh, crowd, mm -hmm. uh, barking out, mm -hmm. which means shouting with anger, mm -hmm. and glowing scent. Scent means smell, and it can be good or bad. And cloying means disgusting. Mm -hmm. Actually, when something is too much, we can say uh, cloying. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. We had the difference between scratching and itching, mm -hmm. and we talked about uh, awkward. Yes. Which means muazzab in Farsi. Yes. And uh, yeah, whisker as. You know, mustache. mustache. Yes. Yeah. And we had the um, structure to be itching to do something. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, for example, when you want to do something eagerly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you, you are you are itching to take the arts exam, yes. as you said. Yes. Very good. For abroad, you mentioned we don't use two. And the only preposition that we can use for abroad is from. Yes. And yeah. Um, you, you, uh, you, you said a very good explanation about awkward. When you do something that is awkward means mm -hmm. you don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. You don't know what to do, and you are uh, you're not doing it correctly. Yes. It's awkward. Yes, it's awkward. Yes. Yeah. For example, you hate yeah. someone, one of your relatives. Yeah. It's one of your relatives you had a fight with. You slapped them in the face and you, yeah. I don't know, kicked them out of your apartment. Okay. And then you go yeah. shopping next weekend. And in the supermarket, when you want to pay for what you paid, pay for what you bought, you see that the cashier yeah. is that relative of yours. So it's awkward. Yeah. It's an awkward situation. Yes, yes. You don't know what to do. Yeah. Of course. You don't know whether you have to slap uh, them again or just <laughs> <laughs> leave what you bought there and just get out of the store. Yeah. Okay. So was that it? Was yeah. that all? And uh, the last uh, words uh, we had uh, par par parting farewells. Yes, yes. Farewell is something that you say when you say goodbye, mm -hmm. and parting means, for example, parting to separate from one another. Yes, very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was that all? And um, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. the, at at the end, we had blender, mm -hmm. fire up a blender. Mm -hmm. uh, dockery, mm -hmm. Congo line, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and that Congo, was about it. Congo line, 
Congo Conga. Conga. Conga line. Yes, Conga. it's a Conga line. Yeah. Conga line. Okay, yeah. very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank and now it's you. Shirin's uh, turn to read the title of this um, <laughs> article. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Uh, pockets, pockets of opportunity. Mm -hmm. Pockets of opportunity. Mm -hmm. As business conditions slowly start to improve, there are deals to be had for savvy, 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 mm -hmm. uh, savvy consumers and uh, savers. If you can afford to take advantage of them. Okay, very good. So pockets of opportunity, pockets of opportunity. Pockets is the plural of pocket. What does pockets mm -hmm. of opportunity mean, Shirin? Mm. A lot of opportunity. Excuse me, I, I didn't get it. Would you please say it again? You broke up. A lot of that. opportunity. A lot um, of. Not exactly, mm. no. Not. Bunch a of. No, it doesn't have anything to do with the amount of something. A pocket of something mm -hmm. doesn't have anything to do with the amount of it. Mm -hmm. Beza, do you have any ideas? Um, pockets of opportunity, maybe um, the uh, uh, different situations uh, mm -hmm. that we can use them uh, as opportunity to, you know, gain something. Very maybe. good. Excellent. See, let me give mm -hmm. you another example. For example, um, when, when engineers, oil engineers are digging some wells, oil wells, to extract yes. oil from the ground. There, there are some mm -hmm. places when they use the drill. Do you know what a drill is? Yes. Yeah. What's that in Persian? Mate. Mate, yes. So when they are using those industrial huge drills, sometimes Hello? they... Yes. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, I can hear you. Okay, so when they are using those huge industrial drills. Hello. Uh, am I breaking up? Hello. Hello, I can hear you. Yes, yes. Okay, so so when when they are using those huge drills, sometimes they hit a pocket of gas. Uh huh. Okay. What does pocket mean? Pocket is a cavity. You know what a cavity means, right? Yes. Yeah, a cavity, a yeah. hole of something. So this is, I don't know, a huge amount of, no, a huge area of land. They go, I don't know, maybe 200 meters down the ground. And there are no gases. You see nothing that is gas there. But suddenly they hit a pocket of gas. And it's methane, yeah. and it might uh, be set on fire. So they might be, they must be careful. There's a pocket of gas there, or maybe yeah. it means that there are no areas that are filled with gas. Only that area, only that area is full of gas. That's a pocket of gas. Or, for example, there is yeah. heaven forbid an earthquake. An earthquake, and people are under the remains of a huge building. One of them survived yes. because there was a pocket of air and that person was in the pocket of air. What does it mean? It means that when the earthquake happened and all the pieces of the building fell down, there was no yes. air. So everyone who was elsewhere died because there was no air for them to breathe. But this yes. person, this person, this person was, um, captured in a place which was full of full of air so he could breathe and that is why he survived there was a pocket of air he was in the pocket of air so pocket yes. of opportunity they're talking about businesses and economy when they say pockets of mm -hmm. opportunity in an economy what does it exactly mean tell me the meaning of it based on what i just explained about Pocket of gas, pocket of air. Now, pockets of opportunity. No, not in Persian. Explain it in English. Uh -huh. 
In English, yes. Mm -hmm. um, the areas of maybe uh, because I I had the, uh, mm -hmm. I had read uh, mm -hmm. some sentences after the, um, the title. Mm -hmm. Maybe after the coronavirus mm -hmm. and the effects mm -hmm. of coronavirus on the whole world, mm -hmm. um, whole we world. can yes. in the whole world. Yes, uh, we can find some fields as you know uh, new opportunities to work on them very good excellent it means that there aren't these opportunities do not exist everywhere just some places yeah. some areas and excuse me you were talking about the effect on something that was correct i just um paid attention to the whole world that's why i said in okay so from now on bezad and shirin just take turns um whichever of you knows how to explain just say it okay so pockets yes. of opportunity means that it means that as you said because of the coronavirus and everything that has happened uh, there are some opportunities pockets of opportunities but just in some areas of business not everywhere so pockets mm -hmm. of opportunity yes. mm -hmm. okay as business conditions slowly start to improve what does improve mean mm -hmm. Make to be better to be better yes let shirin talk too okay don't take yeah, all the yeah, turns yeah. <laughs> okay so to become better to be better mm -hmm. there are mm -hmm. deals to be had for savvy consumers and savers deals mm -hmm. is the plural of deal what's a deal shirin this deal. time you say what's a deal in english mm -hmm. come across Come across? No. Mm. Just tell me, first of all, is deal a verb in here or a noun? Or a noun. Yeah, okay, so it's a noun, deal. but come across is a verb. Mm. It's a phrasal verb. Uh, yes. So what does deal, deal. mean? Do I deal to be mm. Like opportunity? No, no, no. No, it's very mm. easy. I think you know the meaning of deal. Deal in a business? Uh, yes, I know in Persian, but uh, deal deal with something. Yes, but dealing with deal. something is something different. Dealing with something means something mm -hmm. different, okay? But yes, it's mm -hmm. buying and selling, huh? If there's a deal, mm -hmm. someone mm -hmm. buys, someone mm -hmm. sells. So that's what a deal mm -hmm. is. There are deals mm -hmm. to be had. What does this part mean? There are deals to be had. To be had. To be had. And tell which to be. No, no, no. It's not mm. shortened. Yeah. This is not shortened. Uh -huh. It's yes. not reduced. It's an expression. Mm -hmm. And if I think if you pay attention to the voice of the sentence, whether it's active or passive, then you can understand it better. There are deals to be had. To be... Don't know. Bezat, how about you? Uh, we can have this chance to have these deals. Excuse me, say it again. We can have the we, chance. We can, we can have the chance of uh, of having these deals. Very good, excellent. Yes, very good. That is the actual meaning of the sentence. But to be had is, yes, of course, and it's yes, go on. Passive, I think it's passive. Very good, it's passive, yes. And what form of passive is this? To be had, what is the tense? Shirin, you can chime in too if you want to say something. Actually, there are no tenses. Mm -hmm. You always deal with passive tenses. But this one is a passive infinitive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Infinitive. The infinitive mm -hmm. has been turned into passive. To be had is an infinitive, a passive infinitive, like, yes. like to be cooked. Yes. Okay. So, but to be had in ex is an expression too. 
it means that mm -hmm. as Bezat said you can have these opportunities you can have these deals they are available mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. for example mm -hmm. i say that in this jewelry store there are some mm -hmm. silver rings to be had silver mm -hmm. rings to be had it means that silver rings are available in this store in this store or there are jobs to be had in this company it means that if you go there you can have a job there are some jobs available in this com company jobs to be had in this company can you hear me hello Yes. Okay. yes, yes, yes. You were so silent. I felt that I was broken up. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. So, it's a passive infinitive. Sometimes what you come across in texts are passive forms, but they're infinitives. So, pay attention to that. And Shirin and Bezat, mm -hmm. I want you to make sentences with to be had. Um... Don't copy me, okay? <laughs> Try to be original. Take your time. Don't hurry. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The during this during this pandemic, mm -hmm. uh, we um, we have had a lot of guidelines mm -hmm. to be ha to be had or to be had. What did you first say? You said to be had, huh? Say the sentence again, please. During the during this mm -hmm. during this pandemic, mm -hmm. we uh, uh, we have had a lot of guidelines to be had. I'm not sure. No, that's not a good sentence because you know the yes, yes. there is had that is actually have in the structure, and then you yes. use it as a verb. Doesn't make much sense. Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just think about to be had as meaning available. To be had available. Uh, during this pandemic, there are guidelines to be had. There are guidelines to be had. Yes, very good. There are so many guidelines to be had. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. You can also add confusing, confusing guidelines, huh? Because there are so many. Yes, maybe. yes. Okay, Shirin, yes, how yes. about you? You make a sentence with to be had. Available. You can find mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, workouts, uh, movies, no, a lot of workouts, movies to be had in, on YouTube channel. Mm, so say the sentence again because um, I was confused. You made two. <laughs> A lot of workout movies to be had on the YouTube channel. Okay, there are a lot of uh, workout movies mm -hmm. to be had on YouTube. Yes, very good. Very good, excellent. Yes. For savvy consumers, what's savvy? For savvy loser? No. No, no. no. Savvy, savvy, I know. Yes, say it. Yeah, I know. I have I've heard tech savvy guy, for example, mm -hmm. a person who is uh, very uh, skillful and who is into you know um, technology. We can say he is a tech savvy guy. Okay. And here, mm -hmm. yeah, savvy consumers maybe a kind of consumers who are mm, very professional and who are into, mm -hmm. uh, you know, consumptions, things. No, not consumption, but um, you're, you're correct to think that it's positive. Yeah, it means that they're very, very knowledgeable. They have knowledge yes. about yes. things, okay? For example, if you're a savvy consumer in uh, today's yeah. market, you know that, for example, for example, you should um, go and start, uh, I don't know, buying and selling cars to make a profit yeah. you're a savvy person in this regard you can be savvy in a lot of savvy. things but in here they're talking about savvy, savvy consumers you know the meaning of consumer? savvy mm -hmm. 
Yes, what was it that you were saying? Or in your, in your example, we can say he is a savvy car dealer. Yes, very good. Yes, you can say that. Very good. Excellent. So, savvy consumers and savers. Shiri, what is that dash that you see after savers? Mm -hmm. Savers. I, I, we had this in yes. the magazine reading. Yeah. Okay. Mm, savers, if you can. Um, the next uh, sentences, sentence mm -hmm. explain uh, this sav saver. Uh, explains, but um, no, not about savers. It doesn't explain the savers. It adds some extra information. This is called an M dash. In, in Persian, we use it as we, we say it, we, we call it if, if you omit that, if you delete that, nothing happens. Okay. But if you add it, then extra information is there. It makes you, helps you understand it better. So the writer says there are deals to be had. There are deals that are available for savvy consumers and savers, provided that mm -hmm. if you can afford to take advantage of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can make a lot of money in a car dealership, but there is a condition. Mm -hmm. You should be familiar with the, with the, with the business. Okay. I say yes. that, okay, you can make a lot of money. Um, if you buy and sell gold, but there is yeah. a condition you should know about this stuff. Not everyone can enter yeah. this market and earn a lot of money. So if you can afford to take advantage of them, to take advantage of something is in a structure. Uh, what does it mean, Shireen? Okay. Give uh, some opportunity and... Uh, give it? Mm, you mean give it to someone? No, you... Have? Have, uh-huh. Um, have uh, um, benefits yes to get the benefits to have the benefits would you please make a sentence mm -hmm. with take advantage of something mm -hmm. um, visit you too please yeah um, take advantage can mean um, both in a negative and positive way yes very good excellent yes exactly it can mean both negative or and positive. It's uh, dependent on the context. In here, it's positive. Yes. It's positive. It means use yeah, it's something. Positive, yeah. If you can afford to take advantage of them, means if you can use that opportunity. This is an opportunity. Yeah. If you can afford to take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but also, also, you can I, say that. Okay, I am an honest person, and everyone takes advantage of me. It means that they treat me badly they they yes. know that i'm an honest person for example and they trick me that's is taking advantage of someone in a negative way okay so your sentences um i can say nowadays lack of knowledge and information is the main reason mm -hmm that some people mm -hmm. try to take advantage of others. Yes, very good. Now a positive one. Um, uh, positive one, yeah, yes. Okay, Shirin, how about you? Mm -hmm. uh, cardio exercise take advant takes advantage of your heart. Mm. Oh, it's a weird sentence. You want to say that when you do cardio, um, your mm -hmm. your heart is at work. Hmm? You want to say that, but yeah. but it's it's not conveyed. The way you said it, 
doesn't make much sense. Mm -hmm. Make another sentence. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. and see, take advantage of something really? as using something in a positive, positive way. Mm -hmm. I try to take used. advantage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go on. Yeah. I try to take advantage of my English mm -hmm. in my practice okay. because Very there good. are a lot of sources and textbooks in English. Mm -hmm. So in this way, it. Um, yeah, I think I can take advantage of my English skills. Very good, excellent. Now, Shirin, you yeah. use it for people, Shirin. Mm -hmm. People. Uh, during the uh, coronavirus, people can. Uh, to take advantage of online classes. Okay. Uh, Shirin, yeah. when you see to take in here, mm -hmm. it's because it's an infinitive. But when you're saying it, you have to conjugate it. Okay? It's like saying, I am, I want you to go. It's like saying that. That is wrong. Mm -hmm. So say the yeah. sentence again. During the coronavirus? During the coronavirus, people can take, mm -hmm. at, can take advantage of online classes. Very good. Okay, excellent. Now a negative one. Now use take advantage of somebody in a negative way. I try not to take advantage of my friends. Very good. Excellent. Shireen? Mm. Um, during the quarantine, uh -huh. uh, I don't take advantage of um, visiting my family. No. Mm. It doesn't make much sense, no. <laughs> mm. You want to use it in a negative way. Mm -hmm. it, when, when you use take advantage of somebody in a negative way, it means su estefade kardan as kasi. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay. uh, I don't mm -hmm. take advantage of my uh, situation. Okay, good. It's That's better good example. to say about people. No, it's okay. That was correct too. That was correct too. I wanted yeah. her to make a sentence about people. The first one was, so the second is okay. Maybe... She is yeah. in a situation in which um, she can do a lot of things that are wrong yes. morally, but she doesn't. So she doesn't take advantage of her situation. That is good. Yes. Okay. But you have afford in here. If you can afford to take advantage of them. What does afford mean in here? If you have the possibility or if you have you know, yeah, if you have the possibility and uh, the requirements mm -hmm. to use uh, of these situations or to take advantage of these situations. To use these situations, not use of, okay? Or make, yeah, yes, we yes, have yes. make use of, but not use of. Use as a verb doesn't get of after it, but make use of, mm -hmm. their use is a noun. Okay, yes, so, so you said if you have the what? To do something, afford means if you have the opportunity, you said. Yes. So what kind of opportunity? Like um, the requirement, the required knowledge and skills that um, are needed to, you know, uh, take advantage of something. Knowledge knowledge i'm not sure about knowledge i'm not sure if afford means knowledge no when you when you can afford, afford something no just about afford just about afford yeah afford means shirin do you have any ideas you can afford you can as what it is about whether yes but that's what we say in persian okay but what mm -hmm. is, it's very general when you say as Ohdechi Zibarmadan. 
But from what aspect are you talking about? It's about mm. business. It's about yeah. making money, huh? Pockets of opportunity as business conditions slowly start to improve. So effort means if you have the money or the time, uh -huh. okay? If you have the money or the time to take advantage of something. For example, you want to go and buy an apartment. Um, your friend shows you several apartments. You can you say, okay, I cannot afford this one. You mean I don't mm -hmm. have the money for this one? Or maybe these days you're you're so busy. Your your wife says, okay, Beza, let's go out for lunch. And you say, I cannot afford an hour for lunch. It means I don't have one hour of time for lunch. I don't have that much time to spend on lunch. So in here, it yes. means if you have the time, if you have the money, then you can make use of these pockets of opportunity in the new market. Yes. Yeah? Okay, afford. Beza, Chirin, make sentences. With afford. You, can, you know that you can use it uh, just with afford, afford as a verb, and you can use it with can as a model. To be able to afford something, not to be able to afford something. I can afford this, I cannot afford this. Um, yeah. Um, uh, mm -hmm. I like to have a, I like to have a, a Mercedes, Mercedes, but I can afford to buy Mercedes, Mercedes yes. but I, mm -hmm. Mercedes, but I can't afford to buy it. I can't afford to buy it. Okay, good. And Shirin? Yes. <laughs> I hope you, you'll um, buy it one day, Fezad. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. During quarantine, I lost my job mm -hmm. and I can afford to learn, to learn English more. Mm, okay, I can afford. I can, I can afford. afford. It's not afford, Shirin. Okay, the pronunciation afford. is schwa, afford. I can, I could afford, of course. You're talking about past tense. Okay, good, good mm -hmm. example. So you had the time to do it. But because I lost my job, mm -hmm. I can't afford buy anything for myself. Okay, afford to <laughs> buy. I cannot afford to buy. Yeah. After afford, you yeah. use to. Okay, why don't you borrow some money from Bezad? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So let's go to the article. Uh, sentence one, Bezat, would you please read sentence number one? Just the first sentence, not the whole paragraph. Yeah. Imagine you just woke wait, up wait. from Bezat, a sick. It's not imagine, it's a short E. So imagine. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Go on. Imagine you just woke up from a six month coma. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's You're it. Informed that's the first that... sentence. Imagine you just woke up from a six-month coma. What is six month in this sentence, Bezat? Is it a verb, six a noun, is, an adjective? Yeah. What is it? Adjective. Adjective, yes, very good. A six-month coma. Yes. So what is the verb that you use for as como darumadan in English? Uh, um, wake up. Yes, wake up. Wake up to wake up from a coma. Yes, very good. Yes. Okay, would you please read the next sentence? Yeah, you you are informed that while you were out uh, for the for the count, mm -hmm. a new virus spread across the world, mm -hmm. claiming more than. 500 thousand lives and infecting nearly 12 million people worldwide yes very worldwide good. yes you're informed what is the tense and voice of the sentence passive. Mm -hmm. the tense it's the passive. Tense. no the tense the tense you um, simple present yes simple present very good <laughs> you're informed that while you were out for the count what does it mean and what is the structure? First, tell me the structure, then the meaning. To be out for the count. Mm -hmm. Or to be out for something. No, just to be out for the count. Yes, very good. To be out for the count. Uh -huh. It's an expression, not something else. No. Yes, yes. So, While you were out for the 
count. Mm -hmm. What is count here? Okay, you should say it. <laughs> okay, I'll just give you a hint. You know the meaning of count, right? You know the meaning of yes. count, counting. To be out counting, for the count yeah. is something that is, uh -huh, that is used, excuse me, yes? Do you know it? Yeah, while, uh, while you were out for a period of time or for, for a while. Okay, what does out mean in here? Came out. You um, were out. You were out, it means um, uh, you were as the, for example, because it starts with an imagination. Mm -hmm. And in this imagination, mm -hmm. uh, we are supposed to be in a coma, six yes. month coma. Mm -hmm. And out means we are out of real life, maybe. Out of real life, you mean? You mean still, yes. still in the coma? You mean that? Mm, yeah, I think. Okay, very good. Very good. You're getting really great at guesses. And also, maybe yeah. it's good for you to know that it's a boxing expression. Do you like boxing as a sport? Boxing? Yes, Shirin, I know about boxing. Shirin, how about you? Do you like boxing? No. No. Boxing? Okay. Well, Box when she doesn't boxing. like it, why do you force her? Oh, oh. <laughs> No, I, I thought you asked her, do you know what ah, boxing no, is? No, no, Do you like what, do you like boxing? Yes, Have yes. you ever watched boxing yes. videos, boxing videos or boxing uh, commentary on TV or something? Or maybe in a movie? The last time, mm -hmm. the last time that I saw boxing videos, maybe it was a couple of, a couple of hours ago. Really? So, on YouTube. Yes. Very, <laughs> I think you yes. must be really angry these days, Bezat, huh? You want to kick someone. <laughs> or at least No, I like it. You like it because I think maybe you want to kick someone and get happy. I no. <laughs> okay, I'm joking. But if you if you watch boxing, you know that I've always watched boxing on in movies. It's just a scene of a movie. <laughs> I don't like it. But it's usually like this. Two people are doing the boxing and one of them knocks the other one out on the ground. Okay? Yes. And then the crowd that are around the ring start counting. They say one, two, three, four. Yes, huh? yes. Yeah, and yeah. if they get to ten... Actually, the referee, the referee starts to count for mm -hmm. one to ten. Yes, yes. And people sometimes just accompany the referee. They, they say it loudly, yes, yeah. they count with them. Not the, I, I'm familiar with the boxing in movies, so I don't know real boxing. Yeah. I just know that one. Yeah. And then people start <laughs> counting. They say one, two. And if they get to 10 and the person who's on the floor doesn't stand up, then he's announced yes. as the loser of the game. Okay? Yeah. So it's an expression that comes from, from boxing. To be out for the count. Yeah. It means that the person who was hit, who was knocked down, is out, means oh, unconscious, bad. is on the floor, and the people are counting yes, so that he can stand up or not. So oh, the expression means... Excuse me. Yes. Hollywood. <laughs> okay, thank you. So the expression is, um, it means that when you're really asleep, deep, you're in a deep sleep, you're very tired, or, as the yeah. um, writer said here, you're in a coma, so you don't hear anything. Yeah. You're out for the count. It's a slang. Absolutely. Don't use it in yes, formal yes. context. So, you're out yes. for the count. Make a sentence with out for the count. Bear in mind that it both means being unconscious, like when you're in the ring and someone, I don't know, knocked you in the jaw and you became unconscious, or maybe you're so tired that you're deep asleep, you don't hear anything from around you. Okay, Shirin Bezat, make a sentence. Mike Tyson used to be the strongest boxer mm -hmm. in the entire world for a while, mm -hmm. and uh, I had seen a lot of, uh, a lot of his, um, a lot of games, he, you know, punched uh, no, Bezat, a table. For boxing, we use match. We don't say game, I think. I think I've heard matches. Yes. yes. Uh -huh, go on. Yes. Mm -hmm, go on. And with only one punch, 
the rival uh, was um, out for count. Out for the count, yes, very good. With just one yes. punch, yes. Okay, yeah. very good, very good example. Shirin Yu? <laughs> yes, I can't hear you, Shirin. Uh, yes, please speak to mm. the microphone. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, she is regretful One. why she didn't watch boxing box <laughs> boxing <laughs> with you I see. okay okay i think women don't like boxing i don't like it either i hate it when people i don't know throw up blood or something it's horrible yeah yeah, yeah. okay um, um, yes some uh -huh. uh, some speech some speeches mm, some 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 speeches uh -huh. are mm, are so bad uh -huh. that can uh -huh. uh, that can out no you have to add, for, add a verb add yeah. a verb you can that can that can mm -hmm. um, make you yes, out okay. for the count yes very good <laughs> that can make you that can make you become out for the count huh that, that can make you become, become out, out for, for the, the count. count yes that was very for good or maybe i ask you where's your daughter and you say, well, mm -hmm. she played so much. She was so tired. She's out for the count. Hmm? She's mm -hmm. deep asleep. She's, she's out. out for the count. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, as a new virus spread across the world, claiming more than 500,000 lives. What does claim mean in here? Shirin, what does claim mean? Claim? Mm -hmm. Mm. We're talking about the virus that claimed more than 500,000 lives. Claim? Uh, kill? Uh, excuse me? Kill. kill. Kill? Yes, yes. Kill. Kill or just take away with violence. Yes, exactly. So the virus mm -hmm. killed more than 500,000 people or they use lives mm -hmm. in their plural of life and infecting mm -hmm. nearly 12 million people worldwide. What does infect what? mean? By. Excuse me? Infe you were infected by. No, no. What does infect mean? Infect. In Persian. Very good. Of course, as a passive, as passive, it means all the shodan. Yes, very good. Okay. Shirin, would you please read the next sentence? Mm -hmm. That uh, iron. Intern. Uh, yeah. That intern mm -hmm. caused, caused a nasty recession. Re 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 do you think it's recession? recession? Very good. Recession. Yes. Recession. Uh -huh. Recession. Mm -hmm. Recession and the highest unemployment rate in the U.S. since the Great uh, Depression. 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 Yes. Depression. That in turn, what does in turn mean in Persian, Shirin? In, in Persian. That's in turn. Um, mm, mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. That in turn. What does that refer to in this sentence? That in turn caused a nasty recession. What is that? That uh, virus is spread. Yes, the spread of the virus is in turn yes, caused a nasty, re nasty recession. And Shira, would you please mm -hmm. make a sentence with in turn? Make a sentence with in turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, in turn. 
Based on you two, make a sentence with intern. Uh, intern, Kevin, we Hodesh, we, um, the coronavirus has uh, so many uh, adverse, uh, mm -hmm. so many side effects mm -hmm. on 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 mm -hmm. uh, which um, excuse me, you were broken up. Can uh, uh, you were broken up? I didn't get the first part. The coronavirus had so yeah. many. Yeah, the coronavirus uh, has so many adverse reactions on patients uh, a body mm -hmm. uh, which in turn um, can cause uh, serious complications in future very good in the future huh? always use the yeah, with the past the present the future very good excellent Shirin you yes um, every creature in the war mm -hmm. Uh, in have some effect has, in, has. has some if mm -hmm. has some effect mm -hmm. in turn no not like that no no don't mm -hmm. translate from persian okay see mm -hmm. in here they say that this mm -hmm. happened and this event in turn caused that one mm -hmm. yes uh, coronavirus in turn has uh, no uh, good again, again you're mm -hmm. translating from Persian you first mm -hmm. you have to say that something happened and what happened mm -hmm. in turn caused another thing so you have to mention two things two things happened at first something happened that first thing made something else to happen mm -hmm. Because uh, of the coronavirus, a lot of people have to stay, which in turn can cause obesity and weight gain. Very good. Yes. Um, uh, in the future for them. Yes, very good. But don't rub Shirin's nose in it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you know the expression? Don't rub. No, don't. Don't rub. rub Shirin's nose Shirin in it. Nose? In it. Don't rub Shirin's nose in it. That's when and, when you rub <laughs> someone's nose in something, it's an expression. Yes. What does it mean? For example, you just said that you love to have a Mercedes, but you cannot afford it. So tomorrow yes. I'll go to I'll come to your office and say, okay, Bezot, come down. I want to show you something. See, this is my new Mercedes. I've just bought it. I'm rubbing your nose. Uh, yes. okay? I'm rubbing your nose. Yes. So you just made yes. a sentence with in turn, and this is Shirin's turn yes. to make the sentence with in turn, but you make another <laughs> good sentence and you want to rub Shirin's nose in it and say, okay, see, I make so many good sentences. You didn't make one, okay? So just. And especially. Especially that the second sentence was in her field. Yes, in her field. So don't rub her nose, her nose in it. Okay, just give her the opportunity. Yeah. It's her, her turn. <laughs> Shirin, are you are you okay? Yes, but I'm confused. Uh, um, doing exercise mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, uh, is. Not easy. Uh -huh. um, in turn, it can help you improve your body. No, that was redundant. Doesn't make sense there. See, uh, sure, you, you should pay attention to two events, two things that happen. For example, mm -hmm. for example, someone um, has a cut on their wrist. There is a cut. First, mm -hmm. they cut themselves on the wrist and they start mm -hmm. bleeding. The first thing that happens mm -hmm. is the bleeding. Okay. 
that bleeding in turn can make them mm -hmm. become unconscious. So something yes. happens mm -hmm. first, another thing happens next. The thing that mm -hmm. happens next is happened there, happened there because of the first thing. That is when you use in mm -hmm. So use something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bezo, don't say anything. Okay, this is her opportunity. Yeah. Okay, this is her opportunity. Yes. She should use it. And I'll give mm -hmm. you a hint, Shirin. For example, you know that um, you as a trainer know and always say that exercise is good for you, huh? good for people. Mm -hmm. So exercise mm -hmm. by itself doesn't necessarily mm -hmm. result in weight loss. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So you can, you can use that in your sentence making. That was just a hint. You can make another sentence too, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Um, Let me give you another example. Maybe this helps you understand it better. Okay, you can say that when you do exercise in the morning, it makes your body burn more calories, which in turn can make you feel hungry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, when you do exercise mm -hmm. after 10 p.m., mm -hmm. which in turns uh, you um, no. have no, 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 a... No. no. See, uh, my example was this. When you do exercise, something happens. What happens? You burn more mm -hmm. calories. When you exercise, mm -hmm. you burn more calories. I didn't say when you exercise in turn something. No, not mm -hmm. that. When you exercise, mm -hmm. something happens. What is it? You burn more calories. Mm -hmm. So when you burn mm -hmm. calories, something else happens. What is it? You become hungry. So when mm -hmm. you exercise, you burn more calories, which in turn mm -hmm. can make you feel hungry. So make mm -hmm. a sentence. About 10 p.m. Something mm -hmm. must happen in the when body. You... See, for example, I can say that in the morning, if you exercise in the morning, you burn, I don't know, mm -hmm. fat, but if you exercise at night, you burn uh, muscle mass, maybe. I, I'm not familiar with the words, mm -hmm. or just an example. Mm -hmm. um, when you do exercise mm -hmm. after 10 p.m., mm -hmm. uh, after 10 p.m., uh, which is no something must which? happen no before before you say mm -hmm. which something must happen when you do exercise mm -hmm. after 10 p.m something happens what is it say that first uh, you can't sleep well mm -hmm. now which in turn which in turn uh, you no which in turn uh, something have... Which in turn plus a verb. Sleeping, sleep bad. That's just one thing. They're not two things. Two things must happen. Mm -hmm. See, for example, tell me what happens when you exercise. Maybe you become more sober. Maybe you become more alert. That is not a good thing at night, huh? Uh -huh. It's not good mm -hmm. to be alert yes. at night. So mention this mm -hmm. one as the first event and losing sleep as the second event. So say it again. Mm -hmm. Make your own sentence. When you do exercise after 10 p.m., uh -huh. uh, it make it make you alert. It makes you alert. And mm -hmm. it makes you alert in turn. Which in turn? Which in uh -huh. disturbs your Bezo, please let her okay you're you're making her angry i can feel it okay let her make the <laughs> sentence okay go on mm -hmm. which in turn uh, 
which in turn uh, uh, this disturbed uh -huh. your uh, sleep. Yes, but that was Bezot's sentence. He said disturb. Mm -hmm. Okay, so make another sentence. You have to make a good sentence within turn today. <laughs> Otherwise, I won't mm -hmm. end the class. Mm. Uh, you see you when you are you are you writing I... something? Are you writing no. something? No. Okay, so just say it. Okay. Um, when I mm -hmm. became a mother. Mm -hmm. um, I mm -hmm. um, have a, a lot of responsibility. Respon which responsibilities. Turn, responsibilities. Mm, respon responsibilities, which in turn mm -hmm. mm, making me mm. okay. powerful. Okay. Make me See, Make the intern was okay, powerful. but the tense of the sentence was wrong. So say your sentence again, please. When? When uh -huh. uh, I became a mother. When I became a mother. That's in the past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I became yes. a mother, what happened? <clears throat> uh, I uh -huh. uh, had... Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, responsibilities. Responsibilities. I had a lot of responsibilities. responsibilities. Or you can say, Which, I started. Mm -hmm. I started to have a lot of responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Lot of uh -huh. A lot of I started to have a lot of responsibilities, mm -hmm. which in turn. Uh -huh. uh, uh, turn, which in turn mm -hmm. made me mm -hmm. a power, made me a powerful mother. Powerful mother or powerful person. Yes, very powerful good. Person. That's a very good example. Now another one. I want you to make another one. This one is the last one. In turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Uh, then uh, I became a trainee uh -huh. mm, I had a lot of courses uh -huh. which in, which in turns no in turn make in turn me, not turns in turn. which in turn uh -huh. which in turn made made me uh -huh. a mm, powerful uh trainee yes or maybe a trainee a more knowledgeable yeah. A more knowledgeable, more important uh, knowledgeable. <clears throat> training. Mm -hmm. huh? More knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. more training. Important. Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. So now mm -hmm. you know how to use the turn. <laughs> that was excellent. Yeah. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> Take your time. You're I not in a hurry. Appreciate your patience. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You need to learn. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. That was the today's that was the class for today. And see you next session. Okay, next week. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. Thank you. Have thank you very much. Thank you, Reza. Bye -bye. Thank you, Shirin. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs>